Oh, what's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now, a couple of hours back, we got a first look into the Dark Below. We got a little trailer revealing a lot of good shit that is coming with the Dark Below. And in this trailer, which I will link in the video description if you guys want to go check it out, we saw Eris Morn, who is a vendor coming with the Dark Below, who's basically the main quest giver for the Dark Below storyline. In the video for a few seconds, we saw what she has to offer in terms of emblem shaders, class items, bounties, and other good shit. And in this video, I'm going to run through everything she had and try and bring you guys as much detail on them items as I possibly can. But before we get into the video, can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy Daily Destiny content, be sure to subscribe. And if you could help this video out with a like, I do appreciate the support. Now, Eris and other guardians spent years trying to kill Crota. But it didn't go down too well and she spent years waiting for revenge now this is her time uh, with her she brings emblems and she's got three of them the first one is called dark harvest the second one is called seagull of night and the third one is called blade of crota she also brings shaders the first one's called pre-dawn the second one's called midday and the third one is called sun setting she has six class items, two for each character. The first one is called Mark of the Spawn, which is for the Titan. The second one is called Mark of the Hidden, which is also a Titan. Then she has Hood of the Spawn, which is a Hunter. And then she has Cloak of the Hidden, which is also for the Hunter. Then she has Emerald Knight, which is a Warlock class item. And then she has Song of Dusk, which is also a Warlock item. Now as far as I can tell, she has got 7 available bounties which I can guarantee more will be added. The first one is called Blades of Crota, which is hunt the knights who serve blades of Crota on earth and the moon. The second one is called Cut It Down, kill hive using a blade sword on earth. The third one is called Husk Reaper, collect husk shards by defeating hive on any destination. The fourth one is called One of Us, kill hive mages and ultras with any of Eris' class items equipped. The fifth one is called Siege of the Warmind. Defend Rasputin on the Siege of the Warmind mission on Earth with the Heroic Modifier active. The sixth one is called the Awakening. Stop the Hive from summoning Crota's soul in the Awakening on the Moon with the Heroic Modifier active. And then we have the seventh one which is called the Will of Crota. Exterminate Omnigal and her spawn in the Will of Crota strike on Earth. Now she's got five supplies, the first one called a runned core, a weapon core inscribed with unsetting hive sigils used to upgrade weapons gifted from Eris. The second one is called the embalming orb, stolen from a hive chamber, what this orb represents is unknowable and terrifying, used to upgrade weapons of hive origin. The third and fourth are just basically ammo packs. The fifth one is called a radiant energy and the sixth one is called a radiant shard. Now, there's not too much information I know about these at the minute, but be sure if I find anything else out, I will let you guys know. Now, she also brings quests. You see one come up on screen called the Fist of Crota. And there are many more and also more bounties, which I'll get more info on and keep you guys up to date with on videos to come. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you a little bit of insight of what we will get from Eris, who is the main quest giver for the Dark Below storyline. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks as always for watching and peace out until next time. Peace.